Hey everyone, welcome back to Ayastek. If you are working with a team, a freelancer or an agency, you don't need to share your Hostinger password. In today's video, I'll show you how to give access to your Hostinger account safely using built-in roles like admin and collaborator. Let's dive in. So first of all, open the H panel of your Hostinger account and on the bottom left side, you will find a button account sharing. Click on that. And on this page, you can do both. You can request for the access or you can also grant the access to someone. So as it is says, choose this option if you have a person creating or managing your web hosting. When the access to your account is granted, a confirmation email is sent to the email address provided below. Okay, so let's do that. First of all, you need to click on the grant access and here you will have two options. One is admin and second one is collaborator and here you need to specify the email address and under the managed services you have to select all of the services that you want the other person to manage or you can select all of these as well okay so if you make someone admin then they will be able to manage services and make purchases using the added payment method but if you add someone as collaborator then they will be able to manage services and they will not be able to make any purchases. So let's do that. Here I'm going to specify the email address. Okay. And now select the services. I will select all of those services and click on the grant access. All right. The account has been added. Now it is pending for the confirmation. So the person that you added, they have to accept this invitation first. So now let's go to the email account of the person where we have sent this invitation. So I'm going to open the Gmail where I should have received the invitation. Okay. So here on the top, you will notice we have received the invitation from the hostinger and it is saying invitation to collaborate. Click on the accept invitation. So when you will click on the accept invitation, you will be redirected to a page where you will have to create your hostinger account by clicking on this button and this link would be expired after 48 hours. Okay, now on this page, they are asking me to set a new password because it is going to create a new account for me. So let's create a new password. Okay, now hit the confirm button. Okay, the password was so weak, so it did not accept that password. So let me add some complex password here. Hit the confirm button again. Again, this is still a weak password. Let me generate a complex password. So here uh, I'm using Google Chrome and if you right click on it, it has a button suggest password. So if you click on that, it would automatically generate a strong password. So let's just use it as it is and click on the confirm. All right, my account has been created and I'm logged in already with that account. Now, if you scroll down, you will see a section that would be saying managed accounts. So if multiple people have added you to their services to manage their services, then all of their email addresses would be shown below here. Okay. As I just sent the invitation, so my email address is visible here. Now to manage it, you just have to click on the manage button. Once you click on the manage button, you would be redirected to this page. So this is the exactly same dashboard that we were looking at here on the main account. So you will see exactly same thing as the owner see on their H panel. So for example, I'm on the home page and this is what I see. Similarly, if you go back and this is the home page where we are managing that account. If you scroll down, you will again see the same layout, same options because we are managing everything on the behalf of that person. Okay. So now you are free to uh, browse to any page, make any change, make uh, upload any file or whatever you want to do. And uh, once you are done, your admin, uh, the owner of this, of this hosting account may remove you from this. So if you reload this page, you would in the grant access. Okay. So there was a problem. Uh, maybe there's a bug in the hostinger that uh, when I came back to the grant access section, this email account was not visible in this list. So what I did was I uh, logged out from my hosting account and uh, logged in back. And then I can see 
that this account is here and its status is currently active. Now, if you want, you can edit the role of this person or you can remove it. So for example, you can come back here, you can switch the role from admin to the collaborator or you can reduce the resources from this list if you want to or you can totally remove its access. So for example, currently, uh, if I want to go to the manage section of this hostinger, it will let me access that area. I, I was logged out, so let, let me log in first. I did not use the social account yet, so I uh, have to enter my password because I used password to create my account. After entering my password, uh, I am logged in back and here on the home page, I can click on the manage button and now I am on the dashboard of the hosting account that I just shared from the other account and here I can click on the manage button and after clicking on the manage button, I am on the dashboard for that hosting plan okay now let's quickly remove the access from here if you click on the remove access and go back you will see that it automatically logged out me from that dashboard and i don't have access anymore if you log in back you will see that that account is not visible there anymore okay on the other hand if you want to request someone to give you access you can come here and click on the request access and you can hit the request access button and from there you will be able to provide the email address of the person from where you want to get the request access and hit the send request button and they will be able to approve or reject it from their dashboard and that's it now you know how to securely give access to your hostinger account if you found this helpful then don't forget to like subscribe and hit the bell icon for more web development and hosting tutorials See you in the next one. Goodbye.